Hi, I am Brendan Lee from thebrendanlee.com in support of consciousness and skill worldwide. Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you about personal growth. Let's take a look at personal growth just for fun, just for fun. So this video is like some an investigation into personal growth itself for the for the purpose of becoming more clear of the domain in which we work or want to work if that's what we choose to do. So personal growth. First of all, we need to take a look at you have two things right off the bat, person and growth. Now, do we know what those things are really? Like like do you really know what a person is? Um probably not. What you mean when you say a person is like well me you see? But what is a me? Or, you know, what is that? What is a person? You know, is a person the body? Is a person the concepts? Is a person, like, like where is a person even? You could ask that question and, and you'd be hard pressed to find yourself, likely, because the first thing you're going to say is, well, I'm up here in my head. Or, well, like, where are you? Are you are you in your body? Yeah, where? Where, where, where in your body? If we open your body up, we find... I'm assuming a heart, lungs, liver, organs, intestines, blood, all the stuff. And you won't be in there. A body part, body parts will be, but you won't find you. We won't find you. You see, so then we, it begs the question, what is a person? Somehow, <laughs> somehow, and this is very convincing. It looks like I'm existing over here in my head as a character that you know with a name Brendan and all this stuff and a past history that's unique to me and a future ideas that's that are unique to me you see but somehow it's a it's a me character over here but we would be hard pressed to actually know what that is it may be there is nothing here but we don't know that, or, or, or AKA, you won't necessarily, you will not know that unless you actually know that for yourself. You know, no amount of me talking and pontificating on a camera over here is going to get you to that as if level of consciousness. See, so one, I think it would be useful in personal growth to, to identify the playing field or identify the domain in which we are working. And it seems that you can identify that domain via a serious contemplative questioning about what well, what is a person. You see, so what do we what do we mean when we say person? Well, a a a human being, a character. There seem to be actions involved in that, thinking involved in that, perspective, awareness, attention. These seem to be some of the core foundations of the person. Also, a domain that we have in Cheng Shin, we call it the unrecognized mind, our uncognized mind. And this is not unconscious mind, but perhaps that from which the unconscious mind is formed in the first place. You see, also principles that govern self, a person, that govern a person, life emerging ferociously. See, this, this constant need to survive as a character. These are all things to consider when, when investigating what a person actually is or what is a person. And honesty is essential to that effort because if you lie about it, well, you're just lying about what it is you're finding. So it doesn't, doesn't really get you anywhere. Okay, so one, what is a person, huh? Now, growth, personal growth. What's, what is growth? You know, is it the... You know, when you look at a plant, they grow. You see, um, I guess growth on one side, death on the other, or birth and death. Uh, growth is like a transformation of sorts. Like a caterpillar grows from a, out of its chrysalis and into a butterfly. It like grows up or something. Or a, a human, they turn from a kid to an adult and they grow up. Now, some adults aren't very well grown up. So it may be useful to clarify what it is when we what it is we mean when we say growth. If we are wanting to engage in personal growth, it would be good to know what that is. Um, 
Now, as far as I can tell, imagining what, you know, what I would, what I would think of as a normal person, you know, what is personal growth? It's basically seeking a better experience. Otherwise, why grow? It seems that people are motivated by an uncomfortable or in or, or what they deem to be an inadequate experience and they're seeking a better experience of life, of self, of work, of you know, business, money, you know, seeking success of some kind. So they want to grow so that they can be better at what they do or a better version of themselves or a a higher self or a I want to be a better yeah just better version of myself now there are a couple things to consider about being a better person one there's a domain of mind called we call ideals and that's basically like having an ideal about the kind of person i want to be like oh my ideal self is is you know immediately successful has all this doesn't have all of the the fear that I live with and all this stuff and yet clinging to an ideal automatically means I'm not okay the way I am because I'm striving for an ideal you see and I think people confuse personal growth with like okay ideals I want to get this ideal now here's a problem with ideals the ideal itself is crafted from the person that you're being right now And if the person you are being right now has some sort of warped foundation, which is a possibility, then the ideal itself will be crafted from a bad foundation in the first place. And it's still and always crafted from the perspective that you exist as right now, the one you're deeming inadequate, wanting to change. Do you see how that works? So it's really... This can be challenging to understand. No, this can be challenging to grasp in the sense that you may not have looked hard enough at your own experience of yourself to grasp that perhaps you're already, to grasp how powerfully your own perspective dominates what you see and experience and perceive. And so this, the very ideal self that you're wishing that you want to become is already being crafted from the foundations of you as a as a as an inadequate individual in the first place so then going for an ideal you're never going to get there because it's it's not meant to be attained and this can be very tricky so you know that that's that seems to be the domain a little bit more in the domain of what we're working on. It's like, okay, well, I want a better experience. I want to be a better person. And at the same time, you should be careful. Like, what is a better person? And then where where do you even get the idea of being a better person? And how is that even created in the first place? Because like I said, repeating myself, it's created from the perspective that you already hold. Now, a an actual personal growth or personal transformation means that you don't have the same perspective anymore. It's a different one. The person you think you are now is not going to be the same one. You won't have the same thoughts. You won't share the same perspective a little or a lot or none at all. Okay, but that's not actually changing anything or transforming anything. You see, so now... I can hear it now, the question, well, how do I do that? How do I do that? Now, it, it seems to me that the quickest, quick sidebar, quick sidebar, another trap is, and I know this one because I did it for a long time, is fighting yourself rejecting yourself oh i'm a this way it's bad i want to change so i'm gonna reject no i i can't be this way i'm gonna fight against myself well let me ask you this question if you are fighting you who's gonna win
You can't win that one. That's you fighting you. Where is the winning? You're going to lose. And in addition to that, these two sides, perhaps, of this, of what we would say here is two sides of the same coin. The heads and the tails are two sides. They're both the coin. The, <laughs> there's the... There's the one that I am, crafted from a foundation, and then there's the asp there's there's one aspect of me that I say I am, and then there's this other aspect of me that I say is willful that I say I'm going to fight that. But they're both coming from the coin, so to speak. They're both coming from the same place. So it's like building one aspect and then building another one that it's like building one aspect and then building another one to fight the same aspect. So it's just creating a, a conflict. Okay, so and that's another trap. I know because I've lived that one. Now, you know, and it's very easy to live that one, especially if you do stuff that you really don't like that you do or you have thoughts that you don't like or an experience that you're like, ah, it just seems to be me. I don't like it. I want to get out of this. This is bad. So you fight against it, of course, because you think that's the way to do it and that's the way to accomplish having a better experience and I'll tell you it's a trap and it won't work and at the same time you're invited not to believe me go figure it out for yourself that's another aspect of this work you do it you do it all right so now we have a couple of traps I've outlined a couple of traps now the question becomes as I can hear it in my mind's ear um well how do i do that people want to know well how to do that one of the first things that i tell people that are interested in personal growth that are working with me personally and in a, in a in a more serious setting where i can confront them on things and and really get down and dirty with them and their person for the purpose of their growth and expansion of consciousness and their skill and their mastery is i tell them no, first thing you need to do is to, okay, I could say it this way, love yourself. Mm -hmm. Or accept yourself the way you are. Stop fighting the way you are. You let yourself be exactly the way you are. And open up and acknowledge exactly the way you are and then get what way that is. Because if you fight yourself, if you're trying to fight against you, you are not going to be looking at whole aspects of your existence that you think is you because you reject it. You say, no, I'm not even interested. But there might be a lot of stuff going on that, that's behind the scenes there that you're resisting. AKA, you won't see it, you won't think it, you won't feel it, you won't sense it, you won't perceive it in any way, you're not aware of it. And in order for you to make a real change in you, you need to understand the you part. And if you don't do that, you will be stuck in some war or what have you. Okay? So that's the first step, to, to deeply accept yourself the way you are so you can take a look at the problem or that what you say is the problem which may not be a problem. You don't know yet until you actually investigate the truth of the matter, which is you. You are the matter. And then perhaps in the course of your investigations, you can become conscious of the aspect of yourself where change is actually possible, where growth is actually possible. See? And that, that takes some work. In addition to that type of work, you know, it's just coming to mind for me now, excuse me, there is the other, there is the other aspect of growth where, and I see it in the, this happens in the military, all right, where guys go in and they're a little snot-nosed brat and they come out a man or a woman. You know, a person goes in as with low self-esteem. They come out with high self-esteem. They can get stuff done. They think highly of themselves. They can, they can, they can put the the side, the aspect of themselves aside to 
you know, like what they want and blah, blah, all the little, little crap that goes on in there. Boom. And they can just listen to somebody. Yes, I got it. So they can, they can grasp, you know, for the purpose of in the military, it's for the purpose of taking orders so that communication can get across or so that the guy with the grenade, he teaches them, pull the pin and then throw it. And then, so they don't die. You see now, uh, one of my arguments or one of my imaginations with people so when I talk about military stuff I imagine some of you out there will have an, perhaps a negative reaction to the military and or if you're a, uh, a rebel without a cause like me you you will reject the idea of somebody having authority over you and I want to invite you to consider that that's not the point why I bring up the military you see the military doesn't use this stuff the stuff that I'm explaining here, in just in this case regarding personal growth and, and being able to stand up and be a person, this stuff doesn't come from the military. The military uses this stuff because it works. It's just that's a place where this stuff, these these principles or you know aspects of personal growth and for being pertinent to this video, that's where this stuff is is visible. But make no mistake, the military didn't, well, maybe they did come up with it, I don't know, but this, this, these things, the military use them because they work. It's not the other way around. It's not like, oh, the only place where you get this stuff is in the military. No, the military uses that stuff because it's powerful stuff. So don't make that, separate the military from your ideas about it and uh, negative reactions if you have them, because I don't think it's useful for your investigations here. Okay, so now the the and that's a slight tangent. So getting back to my original point, there's another aspect of personal growth where if you put yourself through stuff, through challenging times, and you emerge on the other side and be effective and learn and grow, then that has the potential to transform you as a person. You know, you go through stuff, like in the military, you go through some hard times. And that can cause a personal growth or transformation or change. So you take on things that are bigger than you, that force you to learn. This is, this is useful as well. So it seems that there are at least two sides where you can go introspective and really dig into what's going on with you and why you have the reactions that you have and the and examining the very person that you are at the deepest level possible and perhaps in a way that transcends all levels, period. And you can go the other direction of pushing yourself into situations that run counter to your personal wants and needs or your personal comfort level. And these both seem to elicit some form of change. But if you want to change the internal person that you are, I do believe it is also very useful to dig into you. So, yeah. So there you go. Those are some thoughts I've had on personal growth and or personal transformation that I hope have been useful in expanding your own mind or at least having you consider things from a different light and different via my perspective, sharing my perspective with you so that you can investigate more for yourself and also perhaps show you a doorway for your own personal growth. So I hope that's been useful. And remember, if you are going to make use of this, you have to do that. No video, no book, no writing, nobody yapping at you is going to do it for you. You have to do it, and that's the truth. So thanks very much. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.